Hey guys, welcome back to the Bad Boys After Show. Uh, we're doing this for episode four. I'm your host, Maher Ahmed. And I'm your co-host, Nico Taylor. How'd you like episode four? This one was more common, tamed one. It was. Um, I, I, episode four, I liked it. I loved it. Um, it was a tearjerker. Definitely was a tearjerker. How'd you like it? I liked it also. Um, and it's I'm just have this like embedded in my brain right now and I feel like we need to just get it off our chests because it's like the elephant in the room the fact that I I know it's like it just happened the whole carry-on situation so like, I feel like oh my we God. need to talk about That's that before we even get to the problem. episode <laughs> we need to talk about that before we even get before to the we episode even get to it breaking news no Mr. Oh, Chris is in jail. Or, for what what it was it it's about some murder and how he's like connected it's incredible. to it and how he was driving the person's car of the the witness's car or not the witness the victim's car right the missing girl's car so allegedly well I'm not, I, apparently allegedly I don't know what the, the right term would be but he was here in Beverly Hills got pulled over for a broken tail light like first of all like why does the cops always say broken tail light. Just say you right. saw a black dude in the car and you wanted to pull him over like shit. Exactly. Just say <laughs> like, you racist. Has broken tail lights. I, I highly doubt that he had a broken tail light. I don't know. But that's what he got pulled over for. And then he had a gun in the car that was not registered, registered. or whatever. And then they found out that the car was the girl who is missing, who is rumored to be murdered. Because you know, oh. after a while, after you're missing for some some time, they will like deem you dead or something like that. Yeah. Know. But it's just, it's just like, got me like, my mind is like, yeah, this is because on to me right now. To me, he doesn't like have a bad bone in his body. I feel like he puts out this like real tough guy exterior on the show because he feels a need to with all that's going on and all the people, like not the two people that are just attacking him this whole time. And I get that, but it's like very clear in this episode as well that he has this like really soft interior and is like just not a bad guy he means well he's a good person yeah you know my heart just broke for him this episode and just went out for him it just made me love him even more I know all too well of having you know family issues and and you know with our parents like it's just it's just horrible like it's just a horrible situation and I'm just I'm praying that it's like some type of misunderstanding because it's really one of my favorites, man. Like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see him go through this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, me too. I really hope it's just, like, a really weird coincidence. I mean, you could still know the person somehow. No, uh, come on. How'd you get the car, car, bro? How'd you get the keys? Right. It's yeah. been missing. Like, that's that's the only no. thing that's like, what the fuck? Like, you know? Like, Look, maybe I'm like hoping you know? that it's just, like, the person who unfortunately did whatever they did to that woman like may have sold the car he picked that car up and then he didn't know anything about it didn't have any connection to it maybe that's the case yeah that's what i was thinking me and a girlfriend was talking about that like maybe he bought the car and they they sold him a dirty car or something like that you never know like so like we're just praying that that it's some type of weird misunderstanding yeah it happens and that yeah i mean since we're already talking about it and uh we're talking about carry on and that scene i guess we can get to that part first get straight to it. this is a, this, this is a different episode of the after show guys we're not going in order it's just been too much going on over the weekend and just we got so much to talk about i was really excited yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. go ahead That's, sorry I, I just no I, I just really like that scene i like that he was able to open up it's kind of sad i mean we don't necessarily i feel like nowadays we don't really get to see people like that look like him, like this really masculine, tough guy that is like talking about the fact that he has this estranged relationship with his dad and how his dad really just doesn't accept him at all. They have no communication with each other. I mean, people are literally writing on Kirk Franklin's Instagram and like, you need to talk that. to your father. Yeah. I saw that. Um, yeah, no, I actually love the fact that he was very open with his emotions because especially um, in the black community, 
but men in general, but really in the black community even more, probably in the Latino community as well, because I know their men are supposed to be macho all the time, you know, but like yeah. they're taught that men and boys are supposed to cry like they don't like exactly. they're not supposed to show natural human emotions like it's okay to cry like it's a natural we're humans, you know, what I mean, so we got to see him be a human and, um, and, and he's probably been harboring that for so long. Huh? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, <laughs> so no, he's, probably been, he's probably been harboring that for so long because yeah. he has may not had anybody to talk to in his community or like where he lives. So maybe Gutta was just the first person that he felt comfortable talking with since they bonded so quickly on the show. I know. I, I really love that, that they had that moment. That was that was awesome. Yeah, but I don't know. I know, um, you know, back, because we can talk about it. They've talked about him leaking um, his dad's voicemail when he was cussing him out and all this stuff right um yeah. there was something on youtube that carry on um was talking about and there um that his dad might have abused him when he was a child you know um yeah i don't want to say too too much because like you know it's not my business not like that you know but right. i, I yeah. don't want to put too much out there like y'all could do y'all own research on it but it might have been some type of abuse going on and um and and that's typical in those church families, like growing up preacher's kid, you know, it, it, that that type of stuff happens. Like, um, that's why re religion and Christianity is like just totally not for me. But yeah, so I, I definitely like my heart just went out to him this episode. Like, I understand. I definitely like, and I just, ugh, it just sucks all around, like. And I think it's different when people, when parents are disciplining their kids and beating their kids. I think there's a huge difference. And I don't think a child would ever have hard feelings towards a parent for disciplining them. If you know the difference, I feel like people, kids will know when they were like a, just a piece of shit kid and deserve yeah. like a little belt whooping. Yeah. But if you really like, if they, your parent was really abusive to you and you could not you couldn't defend yourself because you're so small and obviously because that's your parent you know you're living in their house that can really stick with you for a long time clearly it has and uh, he said you know mental abuse also so that's a totally different situation that is that can really that could be actually worse than physical abuse mm -hmm. honestly because that sticks with you forever and that's like how you look at yourself but um it might have been like some other kind of abuse if you yeah, I don't know. Like, which like I don't know. I think yeah. I, I I don't know. Like I don't think he like came out and like fully said it, but like we read between the lines. So um, just my prayers and thoughts are out to carry on. Free carry on, man. Free carry on till it's backwards. He innocent. Well, yeah, and I'm I'm just glad that Gutto was able to put his comedic personality to the side for that scene I and know. really listen to him because i thought like you know at the beginning when they first started talking you just started you know talking the way he oh, usually he was in does. A bed. He's like, I'm in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he and then he finally just like stopped talking and leaned, listened to him and then he was like i'm here for you i i didn't like how it that was the first time on a zeus show where i was like why'd you cut the scene right there like i felt like there was more that they were going to talk about it was like they hugged and in the middle of their hug that was it i don't know if something else happened but <laughs> doubt it doubt it i, I doubt but, it i doubt it I, I don't know like i but like is, was that is really cute. i love it yeah i love it so um yeah i guess we can move on with what happened at the beginning of the scene or the beginning of the show which is kind of was like a, happening it was like time. a to be continued from the last episode like when yeah they're leaving the club now right yeah okay yeah yeah they, i mean we didn't see much of the fight it was all in slow motion so i think we all really know what happened there and then it turned into moolah calling out um will right for the whole him being extra on the bus yeah and did you notice i gotta ask you a question really fast don't mean to cut you off yeah but did you notice when um moolah was calling William out he never said you twerked your ass on me he, he never always said, said every time, every time I that around, I moved you right the there and then William yeah. kept saying well it, it was a tight little space we were all crowded and kept apologizing like I didn't mean to do that I never disrespect you like 
why are you still like pressing the issue? And I feel like Moolah after William apologized or whatever, he still wanted to be mad. He wanted something to be mad at. So now, oh, you've been leaking shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know what? You were, do not remember during his interview in the last episode where he was talking, I think multiple people said it, where it was him, Darrell, and Dylan all twerking. They so all if you were. had an issue they with him were. doing it, it why didn't you call everybody else out? So why are you just, t- why are you just calling William out? Because they were all twerking. Mm-hmm. They were all twerking. And I know, I know a lot of people, everybody was in agreement that they were doing too much probably. Because they're like, I don't know. I think they're like on this Hollywood high sliding shit. We're like, oh, we're not dancing at the club. Just look around, yeah. you know. And they like to have fun. Fuck it, let them have fun. Right. I don't know. I'm like this. I'm like the same way. I could cut it off and on. I could be my on my bougie time, and I could be on my rest time too. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's a time and place. I, but for me, I just feel like it's who I'm with or whatever mode I'm in. But I'm just like, what is it to you guys? That yeah, I think too much. You're not doing too much. Is where it's going. Yeah, it's kind of just uh, he just wanted, didn't want that on his image from other people at that bowling alley seeing him with guys twerking. Well, then don't go. You're in a you live in a house full of gay new dudes. Like seriously, go home then. <laughs> no, if you're that miserable, like, go come home. Come on, like because like you think that's gonna be the first time, the last time somebody's gonna be twerking their ass like you. Come on, bro. You're in a house full of gay. Yeah. Sorry, well, I, I if I, I'm trying to stop that. You know, I, I I do feel bad sometimes about always going in on him, but he has frustrated <laughs> the whole time on this show. So one positive thing that I can say about Mula is that when Will was really scared, he was like, "Look, I'm not trying to fight you. I'm not trying to make this a huge deal. I just have an issue with this, so I'm calling it out." But don't worry, like, I'm not trying to scare you. So that I can, him trying to just clarify that, I can give him I some props for I definitely respect that. that, yeah. I did, I did, I, 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 I did, I, I felt that. When he, yeah. um, when he, he kind of calmed down a little bit because he saw that William was, you know, nervous or whatever. He did like, like, look, I'm not going to touch you. I'm not trying to fight you. I just want to let you, just try to tell you about yourself or whatever. So, but um, yeah. William already had his mind up. He's like, thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> With William, I'm afraid to say this because I hope he doesn't like because we follow no, each say other. It. Uh, it's okay. I, yeah, I because I just hope he doesn't see this and think that I like dislike him or something because we're I think he's a cool guy. Yeah. I, I just it's one of those situations where like you didn't you weren't really afraid of Dylan when you guys were about to fight, right? But even when this guy's telling you he's not trying to fight you, even though he's calling you out, maybe being a little bit aggressive uh the fact that he was scared so scared i don't of being like jumped even though nobody was saying that they were gonna jump him i almost like felt like it was kind of like a race thing i don't know like are you i i I don't know why i had that in my head where i was like are you scared because it's like because they're black yeah i don't don't know i'm not saying he's i'm not saying he's racist whatsoever um i just thought that because he's like a bigger you know like black guy like were you afraid of that i don't know Okay, I'm going to say something and it might come out really wrong. So I'm going to try and say it the best way I can say it. Um, but most white people have a little like touch of racism and they can't help it. Like mm-hmm. it's, but you know, like it, it, it's, it's just, they can't help it. So he probably doesn't, if that's the case, it's probably like, Something that he's not even aware of, like maybe it is because yeah. he's black. But and then and then there's straight dudes too. Like I don't know what the stigmatism is. Like why people um, think that straight dudes are like stronger than gay ones or whatever. Right. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah. and maybe that that could have like uh, some in it. Um, I've read I've read the comments. I read all your guys' comments. I'm trying <laughs> my hardest to not um go based off of my personal experiences but sometimes so we gotta do to that to explain it's how really we hard to speak how on we it because i have personal experience with filming with this network the production and yeah. everything you know what i mean and and i'm not even i'm not even trying to speak bad on them i love zeus it's my family you know what i mean yeah um but i know but i'm trying because i'm trying to respect the viewers opinions they don't want me you know <laughs> with my yeah. <laughs> my personal shit in there but i understand william and he, he wanted to go 
He's like, yeah. no, I understand. And I feel like he did have a valid reason to leave. That, I mean, he had a valid reason that he wanted to leave. I don't believe that it was anything like racial. I do yeah. believe that Mula meant what he said, that he wasn't going to touch him. But on the flip side, you never know what a person might end up doing later for some clout or for some mm-hmm. camera time or whatever, because suggestions are made all the time. If they don't make you do anything, but they, they will suggest something. Maybe you should do it like this or say it like that or do this, mm-hmm. do that. Yep. So they can get it on camera, right? Oh yeah. But you have a choice. You don't have to do it. You, can do, exactly. you don't have to do, you don't have to take your suggestion. They'll make you do nothing. You'll just be the production puppet. At that yeah, point. <laughs> but, but yeah, but you don't have to do it. But, but you can be a production puppet if you want. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so that's why I understand, you know, why William wanted to leave because Right now, you, you're not going to jump me, but I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day, like when they come and tell you, do something like this or do something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and there and have he, been some things that we didn't see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, no, uh, definitely. Like, you definitely like know. a few scenes that we did not no, see. There's no way. They feel, let me tell you, <laughs> they feel for <laughs> hours and hours and hours a day. Yeah. And yeah. you only see 45 minutes of all those hours. Mm-hmm. Come on. Right. There's so much stuff that goes on that y'all don't see as viewers I, and i really I think that's probably why saw... like... say that again oh sorry no no no, I'm no sorry. I, I, gonna say, I, w- I wish we saw what what was really said when dylan said that william told him that they were going to jump both of them i don't know do you believe that no, no I, I don't, don't i think william said i think he was just... like he just wanted dylan is like the most like dylan was just trying to find a reason to be fake as shit again are he just finding a reason to like have some relevancy maybe oh, because like there's nothing going on with he's, so like the, he's like nothing i'm not like I'm no disrespect not not like he's nothing but <laughs> he's, he's the least un- problematic he's he doesn't really he doesn't have an interesting anyone. story like i don't know nothing about him yet i don't know shit yeah. about dylan so that's why you know he had to get his way in there yeah exactly that's exactly how i feel i feel that the second that he found out that will was leaving he his thought was shit i don't even have my roommate anymore i don't really fit in with the rest of the people that are here nobody really talks to me so let me find my a way into like, into the circle way into exactly, exactly exactly and exactly. get them to feel hey, for me and be like do, oh no do what yeah. you gotta do dylan to get your camera time i ain't mad because he i even saw will posted on his story or on his, um, he actually made like an Instagram post yeah. of um, of Dylan texting him like, hey, bitch, like, what's up? Like, did you see the episode? Because I haven't seen it. And he's like, dude, fuck off. Like, you were talking so much shit about me this episode. And he was like, no, nah, it was just it was just for TV. Of course. And he was like, but, no, but see, that's that. the thing. <laughs> Look, guys, viewers out there, you're going to talk your shit in the comments. You don't want me to base it off my personal shit. But this ep- this particular episode, like, I have to. Like, I have to step in yeah. because, like, it's some bullying going on, and I don't like that shit. And so I'm going to speak my, my piece. So you if you don't yeah. like it, just get off now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so This is our show. This is we do what we, we want. We do what we want around here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, what am I trying to say? I lost the train five. Okay, so. Look, the the green screen, I mean, our confessional interviews, that's where you really get to like shine and show your personality, like say your little punch phrases, all of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, you want to come with the extras, but if you're cool with somebody, what we did was, hey, look, I said this about you. And if I don't know if they're going to use it, but I said mm-hmm. this, but just know we cool that's yeah. all you had to do like you know what i mean like that's a, all of us did that to each other like if it was cool like if we wasn't cool with each other we didn't get fuck i'm talking shit but <laughs> if we had to you know what i mean like because by the time we only did our interviews one day a week it wasn't like after every time we filmed and we go like, you know what i mean so sometimes we would have yeah. problems but the week would go by and shit didn't did pass and like we're good now exactly. you know what i mean but we yeah. got to talk as if it's in the now when you're doing your interviews so you got to talk that shit still like you know you what i'm mean? talking present time yeah, yeah. because they, ha- they they chop it up as if it's in the now it's present time so you still exactly. gotta talk that shit so i like you know i went back like uh, like told me like i was calling you eight now and shit girl and you get right like you know what i mean like so <laughs> yeah. yeah so that's 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 all he had to do to clear that up and to not mm-hmm. fake. You know what I mean? Because exactly. it is TV. You know. So. Yeah, because you didn't have to wait for Will to hit you, 
for Will to call you out about it, for you to be like, oh, that was for TV. You should have said something before. The way before, you knew, you knew that what was you gonna, said. You knew, knew that was going to happen. And, and it's, it's reality TV. Like I said, the professionals is where you get to shine and show your personality, your little punch phrases, whatever, yeah. probably whatever it is that you say. Um, you know, what <laughs> this time he can't even this time he can't even blame it on the interview because he actually said it to the guys outside of his interview when he was like, oh, no, he said he was going to jump me too. like he's weak as fuck, like all that stuff. So exactly. come on, dude. Exactly. That's not, yeah. I, I, I Now I'm really hoping that we see a better side of him and we see more of him. Like, Dylan? Yeah, I want to know more about him. this guy, because right now he's, yeah. he's, he's reminding me of a poser, like somebody that's just mm-hmm. trying too hard. Like, even the way he talks, I don't even think that's real. I Does it sound that. like a little forced, the way, like, it's like, mm-hmm. uh-uh, bitch, Very like, I think yeah. he tries a little too hard. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And I feel like you could be a really cool person. He probably could and, be. And I don't know, like, it's hard because I'm think thinking in my head, what but i'm sorry i, I could joke what you say you said is hard because um, what oh no i was i'm thinking like it's it must be hard if you're in a house now where you thought you were going to get along with your roommate even though you guys had fought you made up it was easy and now he's gone and in your head you're thinking oh well i haven't really gotten to know anybody else here i don't know if they like me it, i still don't think i would try to be someone else if you don't like me cool fuck it like maybe i'll just be the boring character but i'm not gonna change up who i am and and just like say shit that i don't mean or say something that didn't happen to make you try to like me like there's no point because then it's like a forced situation yeah it's, it's, a forced it's, it's giving forced it's giving forced. yeah, yeah. but yeah it's, so it's, i'm just hoping that we get to see more dylan he get to show us the real him because right now mm-hmm. he's looking really like messy and fake and um, i don't know yeah what was going on with the next episode preview? I'm trying to remember what oh, was happening. Because I know there was a, a situation with Milan and somebody else. And, he and was carry like, on, I think oh, they're fighting. Beat. Oh, it was carry on. Carry on. They're fighting because Milan was talking shit about him on, on the gram today. But before mm-hmm. we talk about that, please, please, can we talk about Milan and his dildos? Oh. <laughs> I forgot that they showed like, that. The shape of his my daughter another room, I can't say it. But I mean, I've, why I'm about to I've buy one. On, I've seen it on Google. It's huge. <laughs> why I'm about to buy Don't. one, though? <laughs> You're about to buy one? I was, just I, know. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, if oh I got a little thing, because he's gay, you know, like, I might as well find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're saying that you love him. You might as well get he one. He is so fine. No, but I'm honestly, all jokes aside, I've never used toys before. I feel, I feel weird. I would feel weird like a weirdo. Like, really? <laughs> Like my hand do the trick, you know. <laughs> no, shut up, because you wanna show up. You wanna show, <laughs> no, you wanna show up to the fucking next episode and you, after show you're gonna be like, my hair I have to tell you something. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I got it. I got it. I might just buy it just to say I have it. Like I just like to do this look like <laughs> please get it, just like because I know it's probably like a suction cup one, and just like suction cup it to your forehead and answer the call like that. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Where can I find them? I don't. We would have to blur it out. That would be hilarious. But that would like, be hilarious. Oh my YouTube god! YouTube would definitely demonetize us. <laughs> oh my god! I, I it would block that shit so fast. One of my <laughs> is gonna be like really jealous. Dude, like why you kidding. want a dildo shaped like someone else's penis? Yeah, they better be mad as fuck. <laughs> this is funny. I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, uh, girl, Google it. No, I, I want to buy one, though, just so I can say I have it. Oh, okay, because I was about to say, you can, his dick is all over the internet. Hey, so I didn't know that the theme song was them. Oh, you didn't, I, you didn't notice from the voice? It was like the, the theme song, or the, sorry, the uh, chorus is definitely Milan. I didn't know. Can we talk about Moolah's flow? Trash. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm You're sorry. Go ahead. You have the floor. So. I'm sorry. Like, I really thought that he would have been the best rapper in there. I didn't even know that, Milan. Honestly, I didn't know that he did music. Oh, I, I did like, Love and Hip Hop. That's what he's on, oh, Love and Hip Hop. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, I haven't watched Love and Hip Hop in so long. Yeah. So I can't remember, like, anything. But... Clearly, his part is pretty good because we can hear from the intro of the show. 
But I think what did Moolah said something like, two fly, stay crispy, like KFC. And he was offbeat. And it was really, really bad. I need a team like AFC, two fly, stay crispy, like KFC. Like, don't do that. <laughs> so I just want to, I want to ask him, like, what do you mean by AFC? Because that's the street gang out here in LA. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, that's my brother's hit. But um, uh, I don't like the song at all. I don't like, I don't like the hook. I think it's yeah. very, like, dry. I think Milan could have did better with, I don't like it at all. But uh, I think, I think it's just catchy. But it's definitely like not well written like or anything. Beat. I don't like nothing about the song. So it's really? like, I don't like the beat. It's just too plain. Like it needs some extras like stuff in there. You know, I'm a music person. I'm a music head, a music kind of serious. Yeah. Like, I feel like the beat is missing something. Like it needs more like bass, something like my, my manager is a producer. So like I'd be around like when he like make beats from scratch. And he's a dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they should have hit me up. I could have linked them with day one. Day one. It might have just been too rushed. Like, and I, I don't know. Like, that too. But you haven't, heard, but you haven't heard the whole thing. Have you? Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes like I've yeah. been in situations where the, the the producer's making the beat and we gotta write right in there and then boom in the mm-hmm. in the, the booth. You know what I mean? So like right. you gotta be able to do that, but you still gotta make something that's like good i don't know i'm like i i mean but i'm just because i don't like that song doesn't mean like they're trash you know what i mean right like, yeah because when i saw zeus hottest tea post mula's song and it was kind of mm, really? like he had a little like, ski mask on but then when i went uh-huh. and checked out some of his other music it's actually pretty cool you know oh, what I mean? okay. I yeah, like I'll do that. I'll go check out a person's work. Like I won't just see yeah. a little clip that they they post and base my judgment off of that. I'm gonna go check you sure. out because I'm a mu- I'm, I'm an artist. Like you know. Yeah. So I yeah. do want to hear Mula's the first song. Cool. Curtis, the, Curtis is a little cool too. He did the little auto tune thing, but um, yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't know. I might be biased because I think Curtis is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, I do too, and that's why I want to. That's why I want to like him. <laughs> I know really he's getting likable. He is. Yeah. I, you just want to like pinch his little cheeks. Like he's just so cute and adorable. But the thing is, I, I feel like we uh, we didn't really see much of him this episode, which is fine. Um, look, I'm I'm just saying we got probably like six more episodes left, if not more. So they got time to to come around. And again, I respect. Right. I had some respect about him this time. But um, yeah. I mean, what else happens next episode? Um. The song. Um, carry on and I think it's carry on and um this is how I knew it was um Mulan Milan and um carry on was carry on, because yeah. Milan was like I will take his dreads and wrap them around my head and pan and beat his ass or something like that. So oh, that's yeah, how yeah, I put yeah, the two together. Yeah. He yeah. the one with dreads. So yeah. And it's like why carry on? Like why is everybody want like, to him? I like carry on. I'm trying to think of what are they gonna get like into it about. Person. Yeah, what are they gonna get into it about? Like, how can they? Like, I don't get it. I, I wonder what happened. I just know, like, he called him a sissy and a. Oh. Because yeah. Milan was like, "Yep, I have a sissy. I have a." Yeah. Milan, he like, he be like, like, why? Wait, if Carry On is saying that, why are you saying that when you don't even know? That's a really messed up word to use. If you yourself are saying that you're not like you don't even know what your sexuality is yet because you might be bisexual or gay, and then another day down the road, if someone were to call you that word, it's going to be really offensive to you when you're, if you actually come out. You never know. Carry on might have some mental issues, but it was a little bipolar or something. Yeah. I, I mean, and I'm sure that house is getting to him too, clearly. It, yeah. Yeah. It could, Cause I, I just want to know like, what would have warranted him to call him? Sorry. I just want to know like, what would warrant him to call him a sissy or and I do know a lot of people, uh, sometimes we use those words and we don't mean them the way that they mm-hmm. are supposed to be used. Like, you know how when people are like, that's hella gay. That's hella gay. Like, we've been saying something stupid or something, you know, like, yeah. I've, I've, yeah, but- I've caught myself. I don't say that no more. But when I was a kid growing up, we used to say it a lot. Yeah, like, of course. You know what I mean? But yeah. So, not- so I wonder if it was like one of those situations, like he was just using it in a different way. Uh, I, so I would say that, but I'm a little... But I don't know about do, Sissy. Do you remember the scene? Do, so did you see the full trailer before the show came out? Because um, in the trailer, there's a scene where they're in the studio, which is definitely what they do next episode. When, oh, so when, when, next uh, yeah. when Milan is smoking the hookah and um, in the trailer, Carry On says, I don't, I, I don't have to suck dick to get into the game. So he probably says like, I'm not a like you or something like that. 
So I don't know what they get into an argument about if like now Milan is jumping into the fact about like calling him gay or something when he's not ready to say that and he's defending himself that way, which I still think is wrong to say. I don't person. know because like Milan like stood up for carry on spoke up yeah, for the so, like, I really I really am like I'm I'm, I'm dreading having to see this, ha- this yeah. happen because I really like those are my two ones. I think mm-hmm. Curtis because he's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I did want to kind of clarify what I was talking about before with the whole Will situation. Oh yeah. Because the reason why I almost felt like that way is because we never heard anybody other like I mean not even Mula said he was going to hit him. And then here's Will saying they're going to jump. He's going to jump me. But who else? No one said like they're going to fight you. Not even another person. Not even Mula. So it's weird how like when Dylan wants to fight him, you know, it's just Dylan fighting him. But then when this guy is just being a little bit like getting a little bit loud with you, it's oh he's about to jump me. So I thought that was kind of weird. I don't know, and it definitely looks like that. You know, like that's how it is. So it's great that you t- you know tell your opinion and you know from how you see things like that's how yeah. it's out there you know what I mean and um I'm pretty sure you're not the only person that thinks that you know what I mean um yeah. I just I just find it like it's really hard like on this topic for me to like speak as a viewer because I knew about this situation before it even happened mm-hmm. I mean before it aired like you know what I mean um yeah excuse me so it's um I'm trying to like take my biasness out. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Because I'm I like William. You know yeah, I know. I, mean? like, I, I definitely do too. Yeah. And and I, I'm, I'm I just I don't know if he really meant to say it like that, you know. Yeah, but I don't but I know, but but that's the thing, like, no, I can I can I can honestly from the bottom of my heart, like everything I love. Yeah. It wasn't, I don't I definitely it was not because of a black thing at all. Right, like right, right. Yeah. only because I know what really happened. Like, what what was the cause? Like, remember, I was telling you the suggestions. Mm-hmm. Okay. The suggestions. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to say too much. You know what I mean? Like, but right. um, but yeah. So there was a possibility that it could have happened based on someone suggesting it. He Got might you. Okay. he not feel that way that today, but tomorrow he might have noticed that he's not getting little camera time. And then, you know, you you just never know. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. And it's like, that's could be literally the reason why he left in the middle of nobody realizing why he was even gone. Yeah, you know, they like weren't even able to sneak away the with him walking out or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I felt, I felt, I did feel really bad for him during that scene where Mula was talking to him outside because poor Will. Yeah, I felt looked, like he was yeah. ambushed. He looked so shook. He was like I, I felt bad for him too. I feel like he was ambushed. He was just there to get his stuff, and so they could record him with the, um, you know, his exit scene. Right. And then yeah. there's here comes Mula. I'm like, mm-hmm. and then like more people started walking up. Yeah. So, so they're I, they're trying to get it. They're trying to get some type of something out of that scene. Yeah, that that will bother me if that is what happened, and like you know who suggested that like oh you know they're gonna jump you or multiple people are gonna jump you this is gonna happen think, or i don't think this, it was a jumping this. situation though i don't think i don't think like anybody would ever suggest that type of violence yeah and i don't and i don't think that they would ever suggest for you to actually like put hands on somebody but um in the heat of moments, like, you know what I mean? When you're doing things like that, that's what it leads up to. Right. It's common sense, like, so you could say it without saying it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, you could say something as simple as, oh, these two people have an issue about what you said last night and they're going to confront you today. And that could put in your mind, oh, shit, something's about to go down. I'm on the bad boys club. I'm not here for this. Like, I don't want to fight. So let me remove myself from the situation. Not saying that it was Will's situation or what happened, but that could just be one particular person's like issue, you know, and that could be kind of, that could be kind of scared to somebody. Yeah. Like, like for example, right. Me and, um, me and Slim seen in the room, 
Again, mm-hmm. viewers, y'all don't want to hear my personal side of this shit. You don't want to. You don't want to get a little like more of an insight on what really goes That's on. Forward two minutes. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and just click out right now. Right. <laughs> I think that's why they wanted me as the co-host anyway, because I have exactly. personal experience with the fucking network. So anyways, so me and Slim seen in the room, we, we, it had, remember, I, remember our interview we did, I told you, yeah. our altercation actually happened the day before filming and everybody mm-hmm. saw it. So when we moved into the house, moved in the house. But already had issues with each other. Because we didn't live there. Yeah, you had already <laughs> um, had issues with each other at that point. Yeah, the issue was already dead. Like, we hugged and we was cool, you know? But um, they wanted that on camera. So they pulled me aside like, hey, do that shit again. Right. <laughs> and so, you know what I mean? They're like, pretty much, they didn't say it like that, but pretty much they said, do that shit again. You know but then I mean? it makes you look like the bad guy because it made you look like almost like a bully at that point. It did make you me look like a bully. It did. It did really make me look like a bully. And um, and yeah, it's it, but it is. But it's TV. It's like yeah. people. That's what people like to see. And somebody has to fucking be the villain. You know what I mean? And it was me. Yeah. So whatever. Um, but yeah, you know. So they're they're just not really necessarily like do that shit again. But like you know, they wanted us to recreate what happened yesterday today. Yeah. So. You never know who pulled who aside. Like right, it's a it's a known thing with the reality TV. It's not just like this network. I mean, it's a known thing that like not a hundred percent of what reality TV is is real. You know, they have to sometimes Bro. and stuff up and get you to say certain things Bro. so that like, works another situation. I get so tired of explaining that to people. Sometimes it's just like grown ass, but like okay, go ahead and be gullible. That's why, yeah. that's why, that's why we are who we are, because people like you, mm-hmm. we need people like y'all, <laughs> make the world go around, because <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what else to say, like, it's not as real as you think, it's not scripted, they don't tell us, they don't tell people what to say, they don't tell you what yeah. to do, but they can suggest and plant seeds, and then you exactly. never know how thirsty a person is, or how, yeah. not only is it thirsty, how hungry a person is to make it. And the right. things and the and the depths that they will take. William just decided that I, it's not worth the risk. I don't. It, it's a, it go anyway. You know what I mean? It's a it's a risk. Nobody Look, I never. That. If you if you want to walk away from a situation to make sure that you're good mentally, n- mental wise, and make sure yeah, your mental health, mental health, health is everything. You. That's why I don't I don't respect the fact that people are talking shit about him, leaving, calling him all these names. No, because if I have a fucking mental breakdown, are you gonna have? Are you gonna be there for me? If I burn this house down, I shaved my hair off like Britney Spears. <laughs> are you gonna be there for me? No, you're gonna right. still just be talking shit. So like, uh, my mental health is important to me. It's it's, it's I, that's my number one priority over everything. Because if my mental's not right, I can't work. I can't take care of my daughter. I can't do shit. So fuck exactly. all you guys. The fuck y'all gotta say. My yeah. mental comes first, and I gotta do what I gotta do for me. And so I yeah. respect William for that. Mm-hmm. So with that situation happening, where Mula called him out about him twerking, and then like you said, it almost turned into just like he wasn't getting anything out of him. So he just switched that to, oh, you're leaking the cast. I so I don't know if you've been following Will for like before the show came out, but did yeah. you ever notice that? Because I didn't see that. No, I. I, I've been, um, me and Will have been friends. I'm, I met him at the premiere of season two okay. of, of One More Chance last year. So I've, I've, we've been exchanged Instagram. I so never, did you see him leak anything? No. Yeah. No, I knew he was on there because like I said, that's my friend. I, I you know, with the inner circle. But yeah. no, I didn't, he never leaked shit. There was blogs that were posting stuff like, oh, we think Milan's a part of the cast. We think this person, this, that person. But honestly, that happens every single episode. Like, come on. Y'all hit I mean, me I up didn't during see filming. Anything like, congratulations. Until... I'm, we trying to figure it out, too. It happens. Exactly. And I honestly think maybe Zeus is doing it to get the yeah. blogs talking in anticipation right because they happened during our season, too, where the cast was leaked and all the blogs, like, while we were filming, all the blogs hit me up. You guys hit me up and stuff. You know what I mean? So... I remember that they thought that one of the guys behind uh, on the show was the guy behind the Bad Boys T Inc. show. And he was like, no, it's not me. And then finally, somebody got a picture from behind the scenes and we saw Will's like colorful hair. Yeah, like, yeah, he oh, was like, Willie in the Baddest. Or something like that. 
Yeah. That's how yeah, it was him really- because he's so he has such a distinctive look. Like, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you'll you will be able to know that's him, like from the back of the yeah. 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 So yeah. Um yeah, so no, I don't I don't he never leaked it, not on his thing. Yeah. Not, and not publicly. Now I don't know what he's doing, his DMs and stuff, but I doubt it. Will is a professional. Like I want you to like people to understand, like. I've never seen Mula before. I know you're um, a radio personality and all, but you, I've seen you on TV before. I've seen Will on TV. So what? It was Catfish. He was still on fucking TV. He knows how exactly. to shit works. He's a fucking professional. Just like Milan. That's why Milan gets all the camera time. Like, it's literally the Milan show. Yeah, he I knows. Not even gonna lie. Exactly. I was literally just saying that before we jumped on here. I was like, Milan has been running this show and he's going to until he's like that. The house mom. Until that. Until he's jo- the house Jonathan mom. comes he's in. The Milan show, baby. Yeah, it really he's is. All the camera time, all the green screen time, but it makes sense because he was on Love and he, he, This is his fucking element. This is real. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Milan knows how to work, every scene. work a room. Like, he knows how to talk. He knows what words to use, what tone yeah. to use, angles. Like Milan got it down because he's been through this before on a on a way bigger level. So like they they know exactly what they're doing with Milan. And I like yeah. seeing him on camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I you don't know what mind. I just, about, <laughs> I just thought about if Carrion is in jail. Hopefully he's out soon and proves his innocence. Somebody if not, said the reunion. He won't oh, be the there. Reunion. Yeah. No, but somebody you know I mean? said that um, Gutter went live today and mm. was talking about it and like, said something like he's going to be getting out or something like that. So, like, yeah, let's I'm hope that out. he gets out. Like, free, Wait, free really Mr. Kirk. Like, like, wouldn't that be kind of cute if he was like one of the first people that he called if he when he was in jail? If he like called you never Gutta. know. Like, he, he yeah, expressed I think how really he's close. like alone. He's like, I'm alone out here. I don't really have, I don't, I'm not like, in the family, and I felt him on that. Like when it comes to family, like I'm not—I don't want to say I'm alone, but I know how it is being estranged from family and stuff like that. I really like yeah. heart out to you, right? Like, yeah, I'm hoping he gets out soon and he can. I mean, obviously the show isn't his priority, so he doesn't need to be there just for the reunion. I just want him out so that he's. Oh yeah, I exactly. Yeah, get get you a lawyer. Get a lawyer, please, <laughs> because why were you in that lady's car? Right, but. Um, yeah, I really hope he gets out and like proves his innocence. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, prayers out to you, Kirion. Yeah, seriously. I wish I knew him. I wish I, I would, I'd be a good friend to him. Can we talk about that picture of Mr. Kirk Blanken's son that's like going around on all the blogs? He was looking fine. Wait, which one? I'm just with you. <laughs> it's the one that's like all the blogs are posting it. Um, I even think the shave room posted it. It's not a picture that we've seen before. You look okay. Like, mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta send that. You look like my type. <laughs> <laughs> These next few episodes are gonna be wild with the whole Lon and Carrion situation, and then definitely Jonathan's gonna be coming in soon, which is that. Oh, Jonathan's the hairstylist, huh? The replacement guy, yeah. And yeah. I looked at my I can't wait to see what's gonna go on with that because like you know, we've just seen all the crazy shit yeah. all over the blogs, the chairs. Yeah, that's just gonna be wild. What the fuck? Like, how did how did production let that happen? I didn't see one security guard in sight. This I have a feeling like that wasn't even me. during filming. It looked like <laughs> it looked like somebody recorded that with their cell phone. That doesn't even look like regular footage. Like that wasn't a part yeah. of the show. I, oh no, no, that, this motherfucker was running for his life. Uh, th- Wait to see like, I mean, they were filming hopefully from they Instagram incorporate that upstairs. in the show i really hope they yeah. do because they don't look like that was production cameras it was cell phone cameras yeah, yeah it looked like not. somebody was hiding a cut hoping they didn't get hit with a chair they were and filming that from upstairs out inside and you could hear that chair banging on his like arms and his head and shit like ooh, I know yeah it too. was a hard crack like fuck ooh, who, who did he hit with, the, hit with the chair i think it was durell I think, I think I might be wrong. I don't. Know. Why would he hit Darrell? Either Darrell or the other um, replacement, because obviously- I love fight- Darrell. I love his voice. Like, I just love Darrell. <laughs> you don't I'm like Darrell? Just- yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, I, see, again, uh, this season, this episode, I just didn't see much of, I didn't see more. Like, I just saw like a couple of quick scenes with him, you know? So I'd, I needed I to just see so more- I think in him that I love, like all his little Louisiana down south slang. Like, I just love it. He's like, my grandma <laughs> raised me with manners. So I speak, I say hello, good morning. And I love that because I'm like that too. 
<laughs> yeah. No, I, I do. I do think he's funny. I'm just now that he's calmer and kind of taking himself out of the drama. I like that. So I just want to see more like funnier scenes with him and him. I do like. like even come if, on. I do. I even do. if you like, want to get show into your, a fight. Show your, um... Show your shit, Drill. I, yeah. I like Even drill. if you want to get into a fight, as long as it's like real shit and real drama that's worth fighting for, that's fine. That can get me to like you too. So, right. Yeah, I'm hoping to see more. Can we talk about something that's not a part of um, the show? Yeah. I think, we, I think we covered everything. Did we cover everything? Yeah, well, we've covered a lot. Yeah. We covered a lot, yeah. But so, you know, this past Saturday was Lenny's birthday party. It was a fucking lituation. It was a movie. Like, it was literally a movie. <laughs> um, Were you there? Were, yeah, you okay. I was there, okay. yeah. It, it was crazy. It was very good. It was fun. It was fun. I was looking like a million gazillion dollars. Mm. I know you saw my pictures. <laughs> I was like, no. I, I saw but, a lot of um, what went down. But yeah, so I, okay, so I had the chance to find, I finally met, I met Mula and I met Curtis. I'm, mm-hmm. I more met Curtis more than Mula. Mula, like, he's a salty guy. I don't know. Like, he just seemed a little salty. Like, when I said, I was like, hey, Mula. And he was like, I don't know. But Curtis, <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, he's so cute and handsome in person. And, um, but no, <laughs> that's not what I want to tell y'all about, lady. I know Curtis is really handsome in person. But, we there for all the, all the shit that happened. Into what, a fight happened? With- what happened with that? I, saw, I just saw Mangina with a wig one second and then Mangina without a wig one second. Oh my God, the <laughs> in him came out. He looked like, like, what? Did you what see what happened? The, what, did, the, were you like up close? Was that? Did you actually see like what happened? Like, were you up close? Did he get? No, I wasn't even there. I was in the. I was inside. I was like in the section with like the decks, like with Mark and Tamika and all of them. I was looking for my mom. Like me and my mom didn't show up together. It was like a shit show. It was just too much going on. Like, and um, yeah. So, but I, I, but I do remember hearing the police chopper outside. My like, yeah, yeah. Chopper it, outside did you not see it. how they called it Code Three or something like that? Which, right, it was which a riot. Is the riot. Yeah. It was a just riot. because it was so packed out. Like it was so fucking packed celebrities couldn't even get in like it took them a long like Lemmy had like princess got there so I ended up walking in with princess Lemmy came and got us but Tommy couldn't get in Bobby Lights couldn't get in it was it was a shit show so many of the executive producers couldn't even get in I was like what the fuck Lemmy got into it like he didn't really get into it but he kind of got into a little like little word altercation with the somebody that worked at the venue because he was mad that he let us in through the back door like Oh. I'm like, this is party. Like, but it was just, it was crazy. Like, they know how to throw a fucking party, man. Like, <laughs> it was, it was a good time. But, um, but I heard the as I was walking in, I hear the police. I mean, the yeah. uh, the chopper. So I think that's, that's why funny. because it was so packed. Like, every there was like the lot. There was people all in the fucking streets. Like, sunset was shut down. Damn near. Like, you couldn't even drive through sunset. Like, shot out that Zeus. The, they turned it up for Boss Dog. <laughs> I better have been the best birthday he's ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they turned it up for, for the boss. But um, I just so happened to be able to see Jocelyn perform and stuff. Speaking of Jocelyn, where the hell is that reunion for Jocelyn's Cabaret? They dropped they a teaser like show it. They dropped a teaser 10 years ago. <laughs> and Yo, you know how every- to get out. Y'all know how they get down. People, do you see people in the comments? They'll post about anything, and everybody's in the comments like, "We don't care." We don't personally. care. They're like, "Thank you, two million followers." We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, like, nobody gives a you fuck. You guys are the fucking savages, bro. Like, y'all need to relax, viewers. Y'all need to shit. relax in the in the like. Come yeah. on, relax. Right. <laughs> Like, if it was me, it takes me, like, <laughs> it takes me, like, two months to edit something. But it's, like, I mean, I get it because they got a bigger team. And, like, I think... They the, do have a bigger team. Everybody's so everybody's so used to them bringing shit out so quick. So when it takes them, like, a couple weeks longer, people are, like, where the fuck is it? Yeah, I think I think they're just trying, like, trying different marketing strategies. If, it builds if up into the... everything that happens on that reunion. They're not just, going to. I want y'all to... Get that expectation out your head. They're uh, not going to. Remember, Jocelyn look, said herself that they were going to show everything. Listen, remember you did the interview with Chastity from season mm-hmm. one? Yeah. I watched that interview. I watched it before um, 
before I did my interview with you, like I just, you know, I was doing my little research and seeing like how yeah, yeah. that shit go. And I watched yeah, the interview and I was like, damn, that's crazy. That like everything she because you know, Chastity didn't care. She's not a she's like, I don't care about being famous. Like, you know, she don't want to be on TV. Like, like, so she didn't get fucked. So she don't care about what she um tells and like not. And I was just like, and the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, damn, it do be like that. Damn, yeah. it do be like that. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like she ain't lying that's all i'm saying is like she ain't lying because that's how it be during filming so listen yeah. viewers if you really want to know how it really works because you know i'm talking in circles because i don't want to give up too, too much information go watch chastity's interview she gonna tell you everything you need to know yep. how filming works and how she'll tell you everything you need and you guys actually like her so you'll believe her I'm yeah, she talked terrible. about all the shit that was unseen and all, she exactly came, how she, she, how, she how they um how they um how Jocelyn came up to her before that scene in the what's name mm. and told them to do that. Try her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you guys to challenge me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, please go watch Chastity's interview. Like, it's gonna give you a lot of insight on how this shit is. Because every time I watched, I was like, that's true, that's true. That it do be like yeah, that. Exactly. It do be like that. It be like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then it made all the sense. And then she even gave you the footage of what really the happened. Receipt. Came with Same all the receipts. Matter of fact, Mahir. Drop yeah. the link in the comment. Oh, I will. I will. I will. Please. I will drop the link. To and the then y'all get the interview. fuck off my boy William back, please. <laughs> and I'm going to just say it like that. Leave William yeah. the fuck alone. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I'm just well, saying well, not you, Mahir. I love you. But no, I'm just no, saying, I know, just I know. anybody that just be talking about him and stuff, like he has his reasons why he left this. Yeah, absolutely. Business. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? No, that's why that's why I wanted to clear up what um what I was saying, because I don't want anybody to think that I was calling him racist. That's oh, no, no, no. But I think everybody like, I think everybody for. knows that's the furthest thing from what William is. Like Yeah, no, really. I don't believe he's racist at all. Yeah. I was I was but just remember, I did tell you that I believe every white person has a little like a little niche. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Sprinkle, a little razzle dazzle of racism. This was a long one because we had so much to talk about, but this one I think was the funnest one to talk about. Like, the we funnest one. This might be my time. favorite one so far. Yeah. Might be, there, there's more juicy stuff. So I'm pretty sure, like, later down the line, we're going to have like some good mm -hmm. ones like this, but this is my favorite one. <laughs> and people, uh, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are definitely going to get mad at us because we were talking over each other sometimes <laughs> and it was a lot of me doing it this time. Me um, too. I, we're, I think we're both really like we this was this was a time where we actually had a lot to speak about and I think we were passionate about that's what it of, is it's the passion you know, the passion the and the excitement right yeah it's the passion and excitement so we don't mean to sorry if it's annoying but yeah. honestly like I feel like they just don't like me and so it's like anything I do it gets on the nerves yeah. and I understand because you know that's how no, we feel about Mulan so I get it I get it I've been seeing some comments saying that people are growing on you. Or you're growing on them, so that's good. I mean, people <laughs> that are just gonna not like you when they haven't even met you or talked to you. I know, before. but that's why I do stuff like this so people yeah. can get to see, get to know the real me because this is really me. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. in, I'm in my house, y'all. Yeah, this me. Like I'm about to go fry some chicken when I get. Yeah. <laughs> And look at her being humble and chilling with us on here. <laughs> she's being humble, chilling with us on here. She talks to me all the time. It's like she's not one of those people that's super stuck up and thinks that just because she was on the show that she can be like, oh, this have this high mighty thing where she doesn't. Yeah, no. Sense. Well, guys, um, it's not up to you. You have to warm up to her because I like her. So you gotta like her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because I'm but, going uh, nowhere. Give exactly. You're not going anywhere. Give you plugs. Tell them to follow you. Tell them where to follow you. Please. Please, okay, look, follow me on IG, y'all. Y'all see it on there, Miko underscore Taylor. I'm the one, the two, and the fucking three, period. <laughs> y'all can go um, stream my music, Miko Taylor, on all stream platforms. I got videos, music, got new music coming out. Keep telling y'all this every week. My EP is dropping soon, 5210. I can't yes. wait. <laughs> yeah, so, and you know, I got a lot, a lot of things coming up. I'm okay, excited. great. Well, guys, follow Miko. Uh, follow me at Don't Touch My Hair. Follow um, the FB Interviews page. You got to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribe. already. If you, if, you not, if, you, if you're here and you're not subscribed, what is you doing? Because I know what, you're what are you here. here for? What are you here for? It's just Why hit the notification here? bell. Hit the notification bell so that you get the notification. Please, because no, you, you don't want to. You want this tea. Yeah, it's exactly. Our page is growing it's faster. Crazy. That much closer to 10k subscribers. Oh, you're passing it. 
How, how, Hold on, go subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> go subscribe <laughs> Nico Taylor. To subscribe. Put it in the get okay. it in the comments. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in, I'll put it in the description and in the comments. <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm really proud of you though. Like you guys have come oh, a long way since I met you guys back in August. We had like 2000, I think. Yeah, subscribe. you guys yeah. And, and just you guys have come a long way. And I'm just super proud of you guys that uh, y'all been oh, there. And thank you guys. Y'all fuck with me so tough since day one. Like, I You've love you always been supportive of us. Of course, we're going to support you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we love Easy. talking to you. We love hanging out with you. So thank you guys. And uh, if you're still watching, because this has been a really long one, I hope you are okay with it being long. And because um, some, you know, this, I think the second episode was super short. The one that it we was. Because it was like, mm. This one seems like it was more fun. So uh, you guys better tune in next time for episode five. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for to come back next week. I am too. I can't wait until we meet again, my friend. Yes. Okay. (laughs) Hope you have a great night. You too. Good night, guys. All All right. Bye. Bye.